which I don't think is going to work for a Virgo. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's. You I don't need think some order to you, baby. We, me, me. That's what yeah. We need to know. We don't know that you're gonna be in a house <laughs> when, we, when we get home. All right. Yeah. See it? I like it. I want it. I got it. Next, we have our Leos, which is July 23rd to August 22nd. They are loyal, generous, dominating, egotistic, honest, ambitious, confident, loyal, possessive, caring, and charismatic. So you know any Leos? Um, I, I previously knew Leos that I went to school with, but they was real cool people. Like, they was kind of like life of the party, always laughing, always like on the up and up. Well, that'll be yeah, up. Was, <laughs> energetic. Cool. Yeah, we're yeah. Energetic. Um, I think with us two, we would. I think there's things about them that a Virgo can learn a lot from, and as far as like, like loosen up mm -hmm. a little bit, like party more, relax, play more, yeah. basically. Like mm -hmm. we'll work, we'll work, we'll work. They'll work too. To be honest, they work real, real hard so they can spend all their money. Right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So they can spend your money yeah. and they can play. And we don't play enough. Yeah, we don't. We'll be the ones to save all our money, but it's really for nothing. We still going to be in a budget. <laughs> Make account looking good. We still budgeting. <laughs> I'm broke, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing about the Leos, they're going to have their own, they gonna have their own money. Mm -hmm. Right. And they like to care for you financially too. Mm -hmm. Right. They like, they don't mind spending no money. Um. So, but the Virgo will help the Leo with, saving mm -hmm. don't spend you know put that away for a you know, day yeah what do you think about the dominating part of them D yep. dominating um i didn't get i didn't get dominating mm -hmm. uh, I, that's normally a trait that they they keep saying though mm -hmm. and i think they're more like bosses they can naturally take a leader's mm -hmm. role but i think a verbal can take a leader's role so it could probably be just dominating according to who they're dealing with. It probably. could probably be over dominating them. But because of our sign and how we are, it might not seem like a dominating thing to us. Yeah. I think the only part I think that a Leo and a Virgo would have an issue is the fact of how emotional they are and how needy they could be as far as attention goes. Yeah. And wanting to feel like they're the most important person in your in your world. I think all Leos go like i mean they they govern their their relationships that way mm -hmm. so they'll feel more important if they've been thought of they're cared for prioritized mm -hmm. that's big for them and us with our brain we having so much going on you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like we gotta we be dealing with a lot of stuff so it's it you would have to have a lot of understanding and patience there yeah, fundamentally i think yeah, because with us, sometimes when we get in our own headspace, it's like we're not intentionally trying to like block you out, right. but it just naturally happens. That right. Way, where it's like in that moment, you can feel like, well, I need some attention, or you are ignoring me, or you're blocking me out, and but it's not intentional. So, what I you give so. Um, 85, 90s, or less 80? Yeah, I'm going to give it an 85% 80, chance that. You know, uh, it could work. Mm -hmm. You have a good chance that it could work out as long again, as long as y'all have great communication skills. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all have great communication skills. Y'all can actually sit down and talk things through. I think it'll work out. Yeah. So we're gonna give them Leos eighty percent. We're gonna give we're gonna yeah. give them an eighty percent <laughs> chance. So next we have Virgo, which is August twenty third through September the twenty second. Virgo traits are perfectionist, hardworking, analytical, intelligent, judgmental, kind, stubborn, modest. So in this case, we'll be talking about Virgo Virgo. Right. I think it will work. Like the way our personalities is, we chill, we very understanding. We are very intuitive. We pick up when you feel us. I just I just feel like it, it will work. You have to meet the right Virgo to me because you can come across. I think Virgo has two different like sides, sides them, yeah. and you could come across the mature. I'm chilling. You could come across that Virgo, but you also can come across a messy Virgo. Yeah. But I do get where, you know, it could work. 
it could work since you know you want we understand each other mm-hmm. you understand each other's temperament and probably have like a lot of great conversations and but i i just think that virgo needs somebody to balance out like the yes that's side. more i more going yeah more extroverted yeah even yeah. we got extroverted tendencies but we we recoil yeah. you know what i'm saying so i i think that virgo would be happier with someone that was they op- had a little bit of opposite to them to mm-hmm. me to me um i think that's how i think that's kind of how it is like with capricorn kind of okay like they chill but they could be they got that little spark of like extrovertedness okay so it kind of balances out okay but yeah you might be right i just i just was thinking at it and the mind space of like you know We'll be able to give you your space when you need your space. Right. We'll be right. able to be understanding. We'll be able to be loyal, right. caring, you know, see you. I think it'll be peaceful. But it'll I think like it could be boring. boring. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say it probably could be I think, boring. I think it would be boring yeah. for two Virgos to be together. Yeah. Unless you're like y'all older and mm-hmm. y'all just chilling. Like, we just relax and we don't want all the, mm-hmm. the, the zh, 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 but yeah, mm-hmm. I think y'all have a good. Peaceful. Yeah, I think I have a good like, little conversation. Slam a door or something. Go do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that a Virgo would be better with someone more sparky. Yeah, it, it, it'll yeah. that interests they'll... us because we like that that little be able to have some curiosity and stuff like that. We, we do. Yeah, I think I think it'll do a Virgo good to be with someone not like them. Yeah, yeah, but right, will I it work? Yeah, that. sure, it works. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I, all right. Despite, we're going to get them 100%. We're going to give them 100 You got a 100% yeah. chance of working. All right. Next, we got our Libras from okay. September the 23rd to October the 22nd. Some of their traits are charming, indecisive, manipulative, clever, empathetic, sociable, balanced, fair, and romantic. I knew one. She was very outgoing. Okay. Um, but I feel like for me, she just wanted to be like too seen, too mm. in the mix, too in it, and that wasn't that wasn't vibing too good with me. Mm. Um, I dated a, a Libra for a long time, and you know that Libra as a whole, um, doesn't have a good rep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a general astrological thing for them, mm-hmm. the bad rep is that you know they could be very flirtatious. You know, they're in a relationship and they'll still be flirty with others, mm-hmm. right? And they could be indecisive, so they don't know what they want. You could be dating them and you don't know. They don't know if they want to be there in a relationship. They don't know if they want to be single. Yeah, I definitely think. Yeah, you describe them kind of perfectly. I mean, they got good. They got good traits once they because they they love to love, right? Yeah. They they love they real real dreamy and up in their heads, and they love romance and they love all that, right? But sometimes they stay up there when they need to be more realistic. They do have a lot of great traits once they love you. Mm-hmm. Once they officially love you, okay. You don't have to really worry about them. Yeah. But if you in this in this state where you're in this talking phase, <laughs> you don't know what you leave her doing. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what you leave her doing. You leave her gonna be doing anything. Yeah, you know I can't saying? speak for from a romantic side, but that was just like a friendship. She was a Libra, but I feel like they give me those vibes where it's like, I don't know, they just be like too on the go. They want everybody to know who they are. They want to be seen. They want to be flashy. They want to be all of that. So I feel like they them type of people that if you're in a relationship with them, they might be dealing with you. But if somebody else come along and could possibly show them more than what you're showing up, it's like, I feel like they would. Yeah, know, I mean, maneuver, again, so that's, I don't know yeah, yeah, that's the I reputation like, that yeah. they have as a whole. Mm-hmm. But individually, like you can meet a Libra who's very committed to you, mm-hmm. but you got to be special, I guess. Yeah. You know, you need you a mature uh, Libra who knows what they want and th- what they want is you. Mm-hmm. You would see it and it could it could work out. I would give it a 50, a 50% chance yeah. that it would work, but there is also a great chance that it it wouldn't. As long as you, long as you met a, a good mature Libra that's probably 
in their life and in, in that state of their life that like they've been there done that mm -hmm. like i've already you know played around and stuff and i'm ready to like chill and relax right. once they love you they're gonna love you yeah yeah so just let us know if y'all yeah, are just let us know. virgo y'all <laughs> devil libra let us know how your experience went because we i ain't got no song i don't have no that much experience of knowing uh libra especially not romancing yeah yeah um so, Y'all just let us know. Yeah, let us let us know whether it's working out yeah. for y'all. Next up, we have Scorpios. And that is from October 23rd through November the 21st. Some Scorpio traits are controlling, intuitive, obsessive, emotional, stubborn, secretive, brave, determined, and also emotional. Mm. I don't got a lot of uh, experience with, like, romantically with a Scorpio. I've never been, like, really with a Scorpio. I've known Scorpio people and I disliked them. <laughs> I didn't like them. It took me a while to warm up to them. It took me a while to warm up. Like at first go, I don't I don't I don't mm. think initially like if a Scorpio was in the room, a Virgo and a Scorpio was not gonna click. Yeah. I don't not, think so. not not right off back. It would have to be something where we have like a conversation or somehow we come together and then we could be like, oh they cool. Something like that. Yeah, not that's what right I think. Back. All right, so my experience is um, they cool. They chill people. Yeah. They cool. They very, um, we get along with them, but very secretive, mm -hmm. very, you know, not when you know who they really are and all that, like, they, they have those traits. Like, yeah. They ain't good, but romantically, I think it definitely could work, but- okay. Because of those traits right there, you know, we don't rock with it. Like the secretive and all that, we don't get yeah. in no flowers. Yeah. So. It, yeah. Yeah. I feel I, like I, I I feel like if it's a mature Scorpio. Okay. Where they really up front and one hundred, I think we could rock out. We could we could do Scorpio. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I really can't give too much yeah. in, insight on it because I only know a uh, friend friends who. Poor Scorpios, and you know these people cheated on me. <laughs> they cheated on their mates. Oh yeah, they do say that they are like heavy cheaters and they, liars and manipulators. Yeah, so I don't, I don't see that like, doing well. I don't yeah. see that that ending well. I think that they could be fun, and they also about their money too. Like they are boasters. Yeah. They are boast about what they have, whether it's true or not. They're going to boast about what they got, what they did, and Virgos don't really like that. Yeah, we don't yeah. like we don't like we somebody don't. that's real like flashy and you just unnecessarily though. gotta be seen and yeah yes. I, yeah. So I, I, the Scorpio Virgo thing, I'm giving it a very yeah. low 25 25 percent <laughs> chance. Y'all yeah, working is, out? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe maybe the sex might be good. Yeah, I might see that working out for y'all. Like y'all might have good passion, but I don't see it going going long term I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm low on it yeah alright so got? next we got our Sagittarius <laughs> Sagittarius November the 22nd to December the 21st they mm -hmm. are adventurous funny honest optimistic friendly generous impatient energetic freedom freedom seeking and I'm gonna add tardiness on there tardiness yeah, there's some very like <laughs> um i i i dealt with a sage for you know a good enough time and that that relationship was it was cool yeah it, it was it was cool i like that they're fun yeah right they they're, they're, fun. that's a fun sign um they <laughs> they do got like how we are, how you can just blurt out stuff. Yeah. But I think they're a little worse than us, like mm -hmm. saying things that's on their mind. Mm -hmm. They'll definitely say things that's on their mind. Oh like, yeah, for sure. Like but yeah, they're gonna tell you how they feel. They ain't gonna hold no punches with that. Yeah. Um. I think they're interesting. I think they're like offbeat. They are, they are offbeat. Something like an Aquarius. I think mm -hmm. they like you know they. They walk to their own drum. I was just about to say. I feel like they don't have no balance with them. They just. <laughs> Bopping all over the place, like that's how I feel. Like, I did. They, they don't just like air. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it, it's no, it's no blueprint for a sage. Yeah, they just 
a mixture of everything. Sagittarius is the people that just like to be free and not held down by nothing and just, you know, move to their own beat. Yeah. Which I don't think is going to work for a Virgo. Yeah. I don't I don't think that's... I don't need think some gonna... order to you, baby. We, we, we. That's yeah, we need to feel. We don't know that you're going to be in a house yeah. when, we, when we get home. All right? Yeah. So I don't, I don't see that being... Um, Mm-mm. A good match. A Friendship, set. they're cool. Yes, I think romantically, nah, I ain't rock with that. Yeah, no, that's a little bit too free for me. <laughs> yeah, no, they they will be our um associates that they call us when they you know we come outside and go have some fun with them. Yeah. But yeah, I don't see it. Excuse me, I don't see it working out as far as romantically in the long term. Yeah, um, um they low, they low thirty percent for yeah. me. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely 25, 30%. They ain't, that ain't working. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's working out. <laughs> I have Capricorn, and that is December the 22nd through January the 19th. Uh, they are hardworking, loyal, stubborn, disciplined, ambitious, responsible, pessimistic, unforgiving, and sensitive. Um, I mean... On the charts is you know they they say we they are say very that, compatible yeah. with Capricorns. I think we are because I think we are a lot alike in okay. some ways. But I also feel like they're very unforgiving. Mm. They're very controlling. Mm. They could come off as very like narcissistic, depending on again the maturity. If it's a mature Capricorn, mm-hmm. or we could rock out all day. But if they got some underlying stuff they need to work on and healing and you know forgiveness yeah it probably wouldn't work because when you're in a relationship with them it's like they'll mask all that onto you Mm. like they'll put their troubles onto you you and make it seem like it's your fault Mm. so that part wasn't good but i feel like if you could find a mature capricorn it'll it'll definitely work because we so much alike you know but is it is it a thing that you know how you be you know how you too much alike that it's like it doesn't work because we're too much alike well from personal speaking we're not we wasn't too too much alike but we clashed in that type of way we just clashed in the ways of like them needing to work on themselves okay like that's the only way so maybe it's like maybe you got an isolated situation with you know, one that needed healing. So maybe, yeah. like you said, if there's a, a more mature Capricorn that's like healed, and mm-hmm. it could possibly work. Yeah, I don't really have like um. I did date a Capricorn, and I thought she was real cool. Um, our brains were they very smart. Yeah, we had some great conversation, right. and she knew a lot. It was I liked. I did like that a lot. As far as like holding grudges and being unforgiving, I've never, you know, got to that part with her to say mm-hmm. like, you know, they were all like stubborn and hard headed mm-hmm. and can't get over things. Um, I don't know. The thing about them, they don't they won't show you their emotions. Like they mm-hmm. they they could feel a type of way, but you wouldn't know. Gotcha. Like they'll they'll hold on to it and have a little grudge, but they might even talk to you a little bit. So but until it actually like go there, go there, mm-hmm. then they'll explode and, and let it all out. But mm. other than that, they they mask the emotions. Mm. So I, I don't know. I don't have a. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't know. A t- textbook, sure, it'll work out because on paper, maybe yes. Yeah. But I mean, they 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 smart. They hard working. They definitely driven. Like they ambitious. Yeah, um, they all about their money. Yeah, so I feel like in a lot of ways it would definitely work right. out. Okay, yeah, just it just depends on part of the maturity level. Got you. I would give it. A, I go to ninety percent. Okay, well we going with Virgo Capricorn mm-hmm. successful relationship. So that concludes our Virgo astrological compatibility um video, and we would like to hear from you guys whether you know. Y'all are in a successful relationship with these other signs mm-hmm. that we probably said wouldn't work out. Yeah. Tell us how you guys are making it work with, you know, your Virgo. And that's a wrap, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next video.